Hello? Hello, emergency services. Pl please send help immediately. There's a monkey outside. He's on my car. He's on my car. I'm trying to get in my car. I need to go to work. Please, you need to get a unit out here immediately. Uh, hang on. A stick? Yeah, I can get a stick. Okay, let me let me get to my backyard real quick. I'll get a stick. I'll get a stick. I'll get a stick. Okay, okay, I got a stick. Now what? Now hit the monkey? I'm gonna go try and tap him with it. I don't want to hit him because he, he's cute, but he's he keeps trying to rip my pants. I don't want more rips in him. I only want the rips that I paid for. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up and touch him on the car, and, and, and I'm just gonna... <laughs> oh my god, he got this stick! He got this stick! Oh, he's on my car! That's about how I'm assuming that went? Just a hunch. Hello, 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 my name is Skelly. Welcome back to Skelly Monkey Judge Supreme. If this is your first time here joining us, welcome to the courtroom. Order is now in session. Yes. Essentially what we do is we take a look at different cases throughout US history where monkeys have either been involved in some sort of violent or criminal activity such as biting, spitting, stealing cars and bicycles, banana theft, it's all there. It, admittedly, the ledger that I was thumbing through in the previous episodes has been uh, long since abandoned, I guess. I haven't been able to find it. It's uh, a long list of incidents that have happened regarding primates in, in the US and it was published by the Humane Society. But I scoured the internet, and since I last uploaded one of these, I guess it disappeared off the face of the earth. I guess they just took it away. So I have to get my, my information from a new and more reputable source, which is PETA. Yes, I love PETA. PETA is my favorite company out there, my, the best organization, and my greatest ally. I've done a little bit of research and found that this PETA document is credible. A lot of incidents did line up with parallels to the, the one from the Humane Society, and I did some research of my own on some of these, just to verify that some of these actually happened the way that they did, because it's PETA, you never know. So they all seem largely accurate. So we're taking a look at these cases one by one and deciding whether or not the monkey or the human in question is guilty. We'll also be taking a look at some video cases today and uh, deciding there within if the monkey or the human in this situation is guilty. Ordinarily, I would continue the court session until either side has reached 10 points, meaning that the race of monkeys got 10 points or the race of humans got 10 points. Guilty points, that is. They're guilty. If they're guilty 10 times, that's it. Instead, today, I'm going to look at enough cases to get first to five. First to five. That's going to be five for monkey or five for man. Could be anything in between in that time. You know, we might have four for monkey and we might have four for man. And then it's a tiebreaker and then we get the fifth one. So we might have up to nine. We may have up to nine cases today. Let's just get right into this. Let's get, oh, let's get into it. Let's get into the video. Why not? June 20th, 2021, Pendleton, Oregon. Buck, an approximately 17-year-old chimpanzee kept by private owner Tamara Braguati, was fatally shot in the head by the police. Wait, 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 wait. The, not the lady. Buck was shot fatally in the head by police. The sheriff received a call from Braguati, reporting that Buck had attacked her adult daughter, injuring her on the torso, arms, and legs. When authorities arrived, Buck was blocking access for paramedics to provide the victim with medical attention. He, he really wanted that kill confirmed. The responding officer took lethal force against Buck in order to gain entry to the home. I mean, there's not a lot to go on here. Um, I'm sure we could do some extra research and deep dive into it, but I'm really not about to do that. It, it, it does seem like this was the fault of the family. I mean, Tamara Broguati says it's her adult daughter. She should be able to take care of herself. I don't know if she's got some sort of mental instability or, or physical disability that would prevent her from doing so. But after this incident, she sure does. Human guilty. That's one point for guilty human. All right, let's hop over to a video case. All right, this one's titled Crazy Chimps Fighting at the LA Zoo with a Big Stick. Now this one is, this is wild, so buckle up.
He is going bananas. He's not a happy chimp. Neither of them are. A tackle here. Oh, it's getting violent. This is one of those monkey v monkey cases. That was a that was a hit on the top of the head. Another one there. All right, we got a third one coming in. It's pandemonium here. Oh, and off and into the moat he goes. Now they're 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 comforting each other there. All right. And the one at the top has found a weapon now. Swinging it around like a fucking sword. Holy shit. And here he comes. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh. Ooh, that was a snap on the back. That was aggravated assault for sure. Easy, easy charge. All right. Oh, without his weapon, what is he? You could hear that slap. Hang on. Holy shit, what a five star to the back of the neck on that one. Hang on, let's listen to that again. Sorry. Here it comes. Oh! All right, well, I think that's enough of that. We get the gist of it. Unfortunately, this one is a loaded question, um, because either way, the monkey is guilty. So, one monkey point, one human point. Looks like right now we're at an even tie. Smooth sailing, baby. Let's move on. We're gonna go back to another text case. What the fuck is this? Hey! I'm trying to do something right now. June 7th, 2021, Houston, Texas. Georgie boy, a viral TikTok pet capuchin, died of anesthesia complications during a veterinary appointment to check his teeth. That's a, a lot less funny than I thought it was gonna be. With a name like Georgie boy, they really let me down. This is not a case, this is an obituary. Fuck. May 25th, 2021 in Reno, Nevada, a pet monkey ran loose in a suburban neighborhood. The animal reportedly scratched and bit four people before being recaptured and quarantined for monitoring. I don't understand the use of quotation marks around pet. It doesn't really sit well with me. This is a wild monkey, this is a captive monkey in a zoo, or this is a pet monkey, but a pet monkey ran loose in a suburban neighborhood. What the fuck? I almost want to say human because there, there's no designation on whether or not this animal is a pet. We'll do one more text case and then we'll move on to the next one. April 22nd, 2021, Cooper City, Southwest Ranches, Florida. Two escaped lemurs were found roaming the streets in Florida. One was captured and turned over to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conser Conservation Commission, but one remained at large. A Miami Zoo official warned the public not to approach the remaining escaped lemur, stating that now they're separated. The one who's remaining could be a little more frightened. These animals could give, give you a really nasty bite. Oh, a really, really nasty bite. That is just very sad. From, from the perspective that I'm reading it here, one of the lemurs was more of a caretaker, and the other one may have had, you know, a bit of a problem. Doesn't really seem like a case though, right? Let's move on. Lemurs don't do anything bad anyway. April 21st, 2021, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. A monkey escaped from a Myrtle Beach safari and attacked a woman at her home, which was less than a mile away. The woman reported that she heard her dog barking and then when she went out to check, she found the monkey in her yard and the animal lunged and bit her on the arm. She said that the monkey then lunged toward her chest before fleeing the area. Smart monkey. The woman was taken to the hospital and received a series of precautionary treatments for rabies. According to a report from the Horney County Police Department, the owner of Myrtle Beach Safari, Kevin Doc Antle, said that the monkey did not 
no, he did. He did get loose and wandered into the next neighborhood, but was recovered and placed back into a cage. He reportedly added that the animal does wander free within the facility and does get loose from time to time. If the lemur bit the woman, went out of the way to bite some titties, I'm willing to bet that that lemur's not too well trained. Maybe we don't let the lemur roam the facility? Maybe we don't have a lemur in the facility. This is some GTA shit. I just put the lemur back. Put that thing back where it came from. Or so help me! It's not that hard. I, I, I'm really, really inclined to give this guilty point to humans again. But, but, there's a big but with that one. Seems like the lemur maybe has some sort of case against him regarding sexual assaults, but we're gonna sweep this one under the rug, you guys. I'm just gonna put one for monkey, but we're not gonna bring it up anymore, okay? Don't talk about this lemur who's been doing things with big breasts. Okay, so this one is called monkey, monkey emoji, attack. Big pile of bananas, big pile of oranges. Monkeys are being treated, treated right. Alright, I don't see any crime so far. I don't think this is theft because... Alright, you know what? I changed my mind. That banana was assaulted. I thought that this was gonna be a case. Not a case. November 17th, 2020, Panama City Beach, Florida. Panama City Beach, Florida? A child was bitten at Zoo World during a lemur encounter. The zookeeper present at the time stated that the lemur attempted to grab the child's mask and then bit the child on the left cheek. The child was taken to the hospital for treatment. Seems like the lemur, from what I can tell, tried stealing first. We have to take into account many, many different things. Like, is the child disgusting? Could be. Could be. My little Dylan, he's he's already he's already reading Winnie the Pooh at a at a seventh grade level. It's obvious that it's an assault, so I unfortunately have to give my vote to the monkeys. I know I'm supposed to be unbiased here, and I am, don't get me wrong. I am the most honorable monkey judge. By default. October 15th, 2020, Church Hill, Tennessee, a woman was attacked by a neighbor's monkey. She reported to a deputy that she was walking out to her driveway when a monkey jumped on her, tried to bite her, and jumped into her car. Neighbors reported that this was not the first such occurrence that this- Fuck. Neighbors reported that this was not the- Does somebody else want to try this for me? No? Okay, let's stumble through it one more time. Neighbors reported that this was not the first such occurrence and that this was an ongoing issue. Hooray! Another woman across the street said that she had recently had to try to use a stick to fend off the monkey, but that the monkey stole this stick from her and also jumped onto her car. Hello? Hello, emergency services. Pl please send help immediately. There's a monkey outside. He's on my car. He's on my car. I'm trying to get in my car. I need to go to work. Please, you need to get a unit out here immediately. Uh, hang on. A stick? Yeah, I can get a stick. Okay, let me let me get to my backyard real quick. I'll get a stick. I'll get a stick. I'll get a stick. Okay, okay, I got a stick. Now what? Now hit the monkey. I'm gonna go try and tap him with it. I don't want to hit him because he, he's cute, but he's he keeps trying to rip my pants. And I don't want more rips in him. I only want the rips that I paid for. So I'm him on the car and, and and I'm just gonna <laughs> Oh my god he got this stick he got this stick oh he's on my car That's about how I'm assuming that went Just a hunch Let's take a look at a video case <laughs> Oh That was a bicycle kick <laughs> Holy shit, that fucking awful audio in the back has kind of ruined it, so I'm sorry about that, but that kick was magnificent. I mean, obviously it's the child's fault here. He's taunting the monkey. That's four for humans, three for monkeys. That means we only need one more point to convict humans. That is a filthy fucking room and a nasty audio. Thank God it's over. It, it came back. Alright, I'm sorry. I played the video once, so I kind of watched about halfway through it, but I had to restart it and mute it because it had that annoying ass- <laughs> <laughs> Sound effect. You know the one I'm talking about that, that, that gets used on TikTok way too much? 
and makes the video immediately not funny, even if the content of the video is genuinely funny, you still want to kill yourself. So I'm not going to play it, but we're going to play the video. Just mute it. I can even recreate it for you. Here we go. <laughs> The monkey comes into this dude's dirty ass apartment. Almost looks like he lifts his leg and pisses on him just for clout. Touches his shoulder like, yo, mom made Reese's puffs, get up. And, uh, yo, he does not take kindly to that. Okay. Uh, well, it's breaking and entering from the monkey, from the monkey for sure. Four for monkey, four for humans. This is what I was talking about at the beginning of the episode. Neck and neck here. Text, we're gonna finish this off with a text one. April 10th, 2019, Tampa, Florida. While a zookeeper at Zoo Tampa at Lowry Park was administering daily medication and vitamins to an orangutan, the animal nipped the tip off his middle finger. The man was taken to the hospital for treatment. This one's hard to believe. I almost don't believe the zookeeper. I feel like maybe he was like flipping off the orangutan and then maybe he chomped, but I can't imagine this was unprovoked. I have I have yet to see any video of an orangutan attacking unprovoked. There have been a couple where out in the wild, a lady gets like grabbed by one and it, it doesn't let go, but it doesn't do anything violent. It just holds her there. Aside from that, I can't think of any, any video where an orangutan is attacking unprovoked that's the key word there there are videos of orangutans attacking sometimes and they don't really even attack they just kind of hold you or pin you um but it's always they're always provoked so i don't know man this one is just too hard to believe i would need to see some more evidence i don't feel comfortable sentencing an orangutan without an overwhelming amount of evidence June 4th, 2018, Oki, what the fuck? Okeechobee, Okeechobee, Florida. A Home Depot employee was attacked and bitten multiple times by a spider monkey in the store's parking lot. The, again with this one? The pet monkey had been left in a truck while his owner shopped and he had managed to escape from the vehicle. The employee sustained bites to her arm and hand along with a scratch on the side of her face. We don't even really need to go into detail here. The pet monkey had been left in a truck while his owner left and shopped, and he managed to escape. If you own a monkey, now I'm not saying a monkey is not smart enough to escape. They are. That's, that's exactly why this is an issue. Monkeys can escape very fucking easily. They're very, very smart. I'm sure this dude just left his car, like, locked with the window cracked, maybe? And the thing just fucking bust out, you know? Unlocked the door, let himself out like a gentleman, which is fucking stupid. Why would you not put more security in place if you're going to leave your monkey in the car? You should, I mean, just take it into Home Depot, right? You're the monkey man. You have a monkey for a reason. I'm sure you have a license for it. But even if you don't, why are you leaving your very intelligent, hyper intelligent monkey in a car, which he can escape? You dingus? All right, well, so that's going to go to man, which brings us to a close. That means humans are at five, monkey at four. Good game, boys. That concludes our little experiment. If you enjoyed this episode of Skelly Monkey Judge Supreme, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment. If you have any monkey videos that you found around the internet, make sure to send them over to me on the Discord in the description down below. There is a channel for monkey suggestions exclusively. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in court next time. Meeting adjourned. Okay, you can go now. That's all I've got. Except for the next one. So, click on the next video. Right here. Right, right here. Right, right here, I think.